Here's a very simplified model of a tutorial with one teacher and one student. The teacher takes a chunk of subject matter, whether it be math or history or physics or whatever, breaks it up into small, easily digestible items of information, arranges these items in a logical sequence, and then feeds the first one into the mind of his pupil. Before proceeding to item number two, he asks the student a searching question to test whether or not he has grasped item number one. If he answers correctly, the teacher feeds him the second item, asks another searching question, and so on. But if the student answers incorrectly, the teacher feeds him the first item again, perhaps presenting it from another angle this time or breaking it down into even tinier units. And he will go on doing this until he is quite certain that his pupil has understood item number one, and it is safe to proceed to the next unit of information. This is all very fine, but of course, in a mass education system, we can't afford the luxury of one teacher per student. The nearest we can get to this is to have one textbook per student. And back in the 1950s, this gave the educational psychologists an idea. They decided to take a textbook and break it up into small, easily digestible items of information, arrange these items in a logical sequence, present the first item to the student, and then ask him a multi-choice question to test his understanding before presenting him with the next item, or branching him to some appropriate remedial sequence. Programmed instruction was born, a first attempt at an automated tutorial. But the programmed textbook was awkward to use and involved a lot of page turning. So in the 1960s, the teaching machine was invented to turn the pages mechanically, so to speak. But these machines were pretty cumbersome. So in the 1970s, when the computer became cheap enough to be used in schools, it took over the role of the teaching machine and turned the pages electronically, in a sense. And that is how programmed instruction graduated from the program text to the teaching machine to the computer.